Hi everyone, welcome back to First the Coffee Crochet. In this stitch tutorial, we're going to go over how to make the Trinity Stitch dishcloth. Now this dishcloth does use the Trinity Stitch, and we do have a full-length tutorial on how to do that stitch in itself, but we'll also go over how to do that in this tutorial for the dishcloth. The finished size of this dishcloth is 7.5 inches tall by 7.5 inches wide. This pattern is in U.S. terms, and the chains at the start of the rows do not count as a stitch. And to make this dishcloth, you'll need 60 yards of a medium weight cotton yarn. You'll also need a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook, a yarn needle to weave in your ends, scissors, and stitch markers to keep track of your rows. So to start out, we will create a foundation chain of 30 chains. If you would like to change the size of your dishcloth, your initial chain just needs to be changed and it needs to be an even number. And as always, there is a written version of this pattern available on my website. And I will leave a link for that down in the description below. Once we have our foundation chain made, for row one, it's just going to be single crochets all the way across. And you'll be starting in the second chain from the hook. I do like to work in the back bump of the foundation chain, but you don't have to if you don't want to. To do the single crochet, you just insert your hook into the stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop, and yarn over and pull through both loops on your hook. We're just going to do that all the way down this foundation chain, and that'll leave you with a total of 29 stitches. Yeah. After you complete row one, go ahead and turn your work. For row two, we're going to start doing the Trinity stitch. So you'll chain one, start out the row in this first stitch here, do a single crochet, and now this is where we start going into the trinity stitch. So to do the trinity stitch, you go into the previous stitch that you just worked, insert your hook, yarn over and pull up a loop, and that'll give you two loops on your hook. And you'll insert your hook into the next stitch, Yarn over and pull up a loop. That'll give you three loops on your hook. Then you'll insert your hook into the following stitch. Yarn over and pull up a loop. That'll give you four loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all four loops. And then chain one to finish off that stitch. All right, so the next Trinity stitch, just be into the previous stitch. Pull up a loop, into the next stitch, pull up a loop, into the following stitch, and pull up a loop. Then yarn over and pull through all four loops in your hook, and then chain one to finish that off. And we're just going to do that all the way across the row. Now it is a good idea when doing this to do these chains a little loose because it can make the following rows a little hard if you have pulled those chains tight. When you're on the last trinity stitch of the row, you'll see two empty stitches left here. So you'll work this just as you did the previous trinity stitches. Go into the previous stitch just worked, into the next, and then into the following and pull up a loop in all of those. Then yarn over and pull through four loops on your hook. But do not chain one here. Instead of chaining one, we're just going to do a single crochet again in this last stitch. And that'll give you a total of 29 stitches going across the row. Now we're going to do the same thing for the next two rows. So that's rows three and four. We're just going to do Trinity stitch again. So start out with a single crochet in the first stitch. And then work your trinity stitch all the way across the row. So at the end of row four, you just finish your trinity stitch like you have in the previous rows. Instead of chaining one, you just do the single crochet, 
then go ahead and turn your work now for the next three rows we're going to be doing single crochets all the way across so you'll start the row so you'll start the row with a chain of one and that does not count as a stitch so you'll be starting in the first stitch of the row and just do a single crochet and do that all the way across and this will be for three rows total so rows five six and seven will be single crochet stitches Once you reach the end of row seven, we're going to go back into doing the Trinity stitch again. And we will be doing the Trinity stitch from rows eight to 20. So for rows eight to 20, turn your work. And to start the row, you chain one. And then starting in this first stitch, do one single crochet. And then for the rest of the row, start doing the Trinity stitch. So you go into the previous stitch you just worked. Pull up a loop, go into the next stitch, pull up a loop, go into the following stitch and pull up a loop. Then pull through all four loops and then chain one. Now just do this all the way across the row until you reach the last trinity stitch of the row. Once you're on the last trinity stitch of the row, go ahead and work trinity stitch as normal. But instead of chaining one here, just single crochet in that last stitch. And you'll just repeat this all the way up through row 20. And after completing row 20, for rows 21, 22, and 23, we go back into doing the single crochet stitches. So you'll just turn your work. And for these three rows, you'll start out with a chain of one. And then you'll start in this first stitch. Just do a single crochet. And then you'll do a single crochet in each stitch all the way across. So that's for rows 21, 22, and 23. You'll just do single crochet in each of those rows in each stitch all the way across. After completing row 23, we're going to go back into doing the Trinity stitch again for three more rows. So that would be rows 24, 25, and 26. So again, to start that, we just turn our work, chain one, do a single crochet in that first stitch, and then start into the Trinity stitch, starting in the stitch you just worked, pull up a loop, pull up a loop in the next stitch, pull up a loop in the following stitch, and then yarn over and pull through all four loops in your hook, and then chain one to complete the stitch, and then you'll just start in the stitch you just worked here and do the same thing and you'll repeat this all the way down the row until the last stitch of the row and for the last trinity stitch of the row you start out like you normally do with the trinity stitch and then pull through all four loops on the hook but don't chain one and instead do a single crochet in that last stitch now do this again for two more rows and that'll get you through row 26. After you get through the end of row 26, you'll be doing the last row, row 27. So you'll turn your work, chain one, and starting in that first stitch, do a single crochet and then do a single crochet all the way across the row in each stitch. When you're done with this row, you can fasten off and weave in your ends and enjoy your new dishcloth.